Hi there, Chop Shoppers. Travis here from ChibiChopShop.com, bringing you another Nendoroid unboxing video. Here's what we have today. Enjoy. Also, like and subscribe for more, or comment down below. And as always, happy chopping. So today we have Joker from Persona 5. Now this one I know has had a, at least one re-release in the recent past. Uh, this is a new in-box one that we got from someone's collection. Now whenever it has a marker like this on the uh, tab, usually means there's something in the back here. So always make sure and open it up and check behind the back card. Just a little scoring on the tape and they pop right off. Then of course the all-important instructions. On, on our all our uh, unboxing videos, we try and do a quick little panoram shot here across to uh, give you kind of an overview of all the parts. If you pause the video, be a good reference. If you're missing anything, you know what you're looking for. So we're releasing you from the plastic prison. All of the Nendoroids always come packed in when they're new in box with all of the little plastic film which tends to stick to feet and litter up the place for sure. Always comes stuck in between the neck and the body and underneath the hair between the bangs and the faceplate as well. And also usually at the waist joint. A lot and lots of little plastic, which we always try and recycle that stuff whenever we can. Here you'll see his uh, waist joint. We always try and show those in the picture because sometimes they vary, but this one's a pretty universal type, so it should be interchangeable with quite a few Nendoroids. And there you have him. Free at last his front bang hair piece with eye mask. Just pop the front bangs off and pop the front one on. Then all the annoying plastic tape film that sticks to the front of all of the tiny accessories. One of his face plate options. All that film has to come off and we just carefully dump it out of the tray and onto our padded table mat. Then you got his first hand with his handgun. And then his knife. His handheld version of his mask. And then you got the two replacement eyes, which just pop right out. With a little bit of effort, kind of push from the front and they come out. And then the additional pieces just pop into place. There's two little pegs. Just be careful that they don't snap off. But there you have it his red powered up angry eyes. I don't know, I've never played Persona 5, honestly, so I'm not sure exactly what they represent, but you have that option. Additional faceplate. All his pieces. And then we just, of course, cut out the stand from the bottom of the tray, just score the tape and pop it out. Rip open the bag, and there's our last bit of parts. Now, he comes with a uh, backdrop here. All the Persona 5 have kind of this striking a pose backdrops with the window kind of through them. So you can kind of lay those out in front and let the Nendoroid peer through from behind. So we'll set him back up to do so. And then he uses a pretty standard 13 hole stand with the basic arm and back peg. Take a little bit of work to wedge in initially. And then if you stabilize the joint and bend the arms into place, and peg it into the stand, and there you have it. All ready to go. 
strike and oppose. And there you have it. Another unboxing at chippychopshop.com.